by the end of this video, we are gonna have goats in the barn. <laughs> For the past couple of months, our Nubian goat herd has been sleeping in a temporary goat shelter in their pen that we constructed out of an unused chicken run and some tarps. We knew this was a temporary solution to get them through the winter before we could complete their new and improved goat barn. We are converting a side of our barn that was previously used to store wood into their goat barn. There's a lot of work ahead before we can get them moved in here, so let's get to it. Really, all of the big stuff is out of here. Um, I've got four by fours in here, pallets, and then I've got some uh, plywood, and I've got some floor composite wood. Nothing in here is gonna be getting wet. And so I can use that in here. And what I'm wanting to do is make some raised platforms um, for the goats to sleep on and for them to climb on and enjoy. Uh, to entertain them. Um, we have found that they really like getting up off the ground and sleeping. They sleep in their hay feeder a ton. Um, just during the day, they enjoy that. And we've got a lot of blowing hay that we bought. It's very poor quality hay that we're going to be using for bedding in here. I have an old vintage cedar. This is an old cedar. Um, I have no idea what we'll do with it. I am going to get it out of here though um, so that the goats don't get hurt on it. I've got some of my electronet fencing in here. I'm going to move this to um, the inside of the barn in a little bit. And I've got this piece of plywood that is nailed to the wall and it's in a bad spot um, and I'll show you why. So this is where the animal was tunneling into the barn and it, the ground is higher in here than it is outside which is good because it doesn't get wet in here but you can see it was probably a possum because we never had any issues with it getting a hold of um, chickens or anything and possums for the most part they they just want to eat the eggs uh, unless they get really desperate and they can't find other foods so eggs that were being laid in here in the barn we're getting eating we're getting eaten by probably a possum. But this piece of plywood is nailed to the inside of the barn. And we have this kind of weird interior wall. <laughs> and I'm gonna put a board back up right here um, to close that off. And I've still gotta push in that corner. Um, I decided to clean out the barn first, but we are gonna get that corner pulled in and put back together. But see this plywood, it's kind of at the same level as this wall is. But look at all this space. That is ample space for something to hang out in here. And I don't want that. And I assume this was done to keep cows from pushing on these walls, that outer wall. Um, but I'm going to pry this board off of here and move it down. Um, I may even put it in this space after I backfill this hole. But I'm gonna take this down for now. And I also found a nice ridge cap 
a nice metal ridge cap, which is awesome. I've got projects coming up I can use that on. Just called Zach to come look at the barn with me because that post when I took that plywood off I realized I had the plywood up to keep the dirt off of the wall from pushing on the wall so I'm definitely gonna put it back up over there but we have got to get concrete under that post so I'd wondered before why they had wood down here at the bottom and it's so the dirt doesn't push directly on the wall, but look at this. Can you see how much that moves? Get this out of here. Um, but we need to get concrete under this before any of this dirt starts moving that way. The chickens get in here because, look, it, it moves a ton. That's not good, and I'm just barely pushing on it. Um, so I'm actually thinking of taking a bucket and cutting a bucket in half and using it as a form to set down in the ground and pour my concrete up over this post. Hey y'all, it's dark. I'm out here working still. Um, and I wanted to give you an update. So I've taken a flower pot that had the bottom already busted. Um, the plastic is still really good though. And I cut the bottom off of it and it's more flexible than a five gallon bucket would have been and that's gonna allow me to get this under that post a little bit easier um, but footings for anything are usually I think 6 to 12 inches and this is gonna be probably 12 to 14 so I think we're good there um, I'm about to go ahead and mix my concrete um, and take it down on the lawnmower in a five gallon bucket. I'm gonna head down now and get this set up and poured. I cannot tell you how thankful I am to be using this now again instead of that. <laughs> We're back up to the little John Deere. And man, I'm glad, cause I can just set this on here. I have a cart, but I don't have it hooked up because I've been pulling all that stuff around. Um, but I would use my cart, but I am just can set this up on my footrest and take it down there. So much easier. So thankful my dad fixed her. Look at there. I dug it out earlier. I actually think I'm going to add a little bit of dirt back under here. We raise it up. I'm gonna push this down into the dirt some, get it set right. All right, our pot's in there. We got several inches of the post down in the pot, and I already know I have too much concrete. And Zach had already said pour it around it, so I'm gonna do that too. I'm gonna pour all in around it.
here's what she looks like. Got our pot in there. Got the concrete filled in. Um, had just enough concrete, even with spilling some. And I went ahead and put this dirt around there to help. You can see the you can see the concrete moving in there. So put this dirt around it to help kind of support the bucket. We'll get some wood placed back along this inside wall tomorrow. Finish cleaning the barn out. I'm about to get to work on the rest of this mess in here. It'll be looking really good by the time I'm done, but check out our post. Look. It does not move, not even a little, nothing. Awesome. Mommy's putting the wood up, so I'm going to knock down the old wasp nest. Chickens have seen this as the opportunity to come and get all the bugs as I move things. <laughs> it's the great thing about chickens. Here's where we are with putting some wood up. That was already there. I took that down last night and then realized that that post wasn't touching anything and that they had put wood along this wall previously just to keep um, the dirt from pushing directly against the outer lap boards because these are old and I believe they're cedar. Um, and so we don't wanna push on those cause they're not very strong. So adding stronger material inside will save this pretty siding later on. Here we go, Mom. Eleanor has brought me some longer screws. Thank you very much. There you go. I appreciate it. Yeah. We've got this to the point. Eleanor and I have got this to the point that we can stop working on this section because before I move any more dirt around, I've got a big hill of dirt back there, I've got to fix that where the light's coming in. This back here is where the front wall separated from this wall. Um, when we first moved here, there was not any metal on the outside of this wall. And I put metal up and this opening was still here, but there was tons of wood piled in here. <laughs> well, you can see out here, there's a runoff ditch and we are gonna change the flow of this water because it's causing erosion against the barn as well as what the groundhogs did. Uh, the big hole from the groundhogs is right there. Um, eventually, we will have a bobcat here. Uh, we're borrowing a bobcat so that we can get some dirt work done out here but we're gonna move this drainage ditch out from the barn by a couple of feet and have it drain off in that direction towards the pond. Um, but that is the drainage for all of this hill. It comes right through here. And so I'll be cleaning this up, this mess of a pile up and getting that ditch moved very soon. Here is our opening from the outside. And I can, push on this and get it pretty close to being closed but the metal is just hanging on the bottom it's down lower than what the dirt is and what the wall is so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this metal off um, and get my wall tied in and then I'll put the metal back up Alright, 
I took the three sheets off. I pulled two pieces of wood out of there that weren't connected to anything. I have no idea why. And I've got the top piece right here connected to the bigger cedar post. There go the geese. I'm not going to be able to get the bottom right here connected to that post by just pushing on it. And that is okay because I have some metal strapping to work with. What I ended up having to do was dig this out more, take that board totally off, that's a two by 10, take it totally off and refit it and use it to push this wall further in. For some reason, and I think it's just because this wood is bowed, this, this piece right here really gave me some trouble with wanting to go inside there. Um, but we strapped, I got Zach to come help me and we strapped this back together um, into a good part of this post because it was hard to find a good spot um, but we've got it done i'm about to put the metal back up and i don't know that may be all i get to do today <laughs> that was a lot. <laughs> it took a long time. The sun is setting, isn't it? Yeah, I had to sit in the owl in my trampoline. Yeah, the geese were holding you hostage in the trampoline. Well, you know what? It doesn't look like I did a single thing, does it, Eleanor? Yeah, it does. <laughs> it does. I can find out. Yeah? I don't know. Okay, what did I do? Okay, so you say it does look different. Yeah. Did I do a good job? Did I do a good job? Yes. So you took these two panels off. Three. Like three? Okay. Uh huh. You took three panels off. Uh mm huh. -hmm. And then you told me to go up there and ask for Daddy for some metal strips. Uh mm huh. -hmm. And then you put the metal strips on there while I was inside getting food. And then, once you put that on, you got this, and you put it back on the wall. Mm-hmm. And then you screwed it in with some screws. You got it, girlfriend. That's exactly what I did. I did it, Ladybug. What you doing, lady? You getting Eleanor? You want to go fishing? Yeah. Okay. Where's your fishing pole? I have made a ton of progress. I've been digging into this hill to kind of level things out. I'm gonna do some more work. It is so hard packed Alabama clay under this top dusty layer. You can see the clumps here and they break up easy. These will break up super fast with the goats walking in here. Um, and I've got a couple of places I need to smooth, do a little bit more work. But here is that corner now y'all. You can see a little bit of light, like just a little bit, but there's metal outside of it. So the wind is totally blocked. And I added a piece of plywood we had right here. And I put that piece of plywood back up. It's a beautiful day. The sun keeps peeking out and it's like, I don't know, 70, 72. Feels amazing. Got my gloves, got my water, 
and I'm headed out here to the barn. We're gonna move the goats in today. I'm gonna get it to the point that we're moving them in. Everybody is enjoying this beautiful weather. Ice cream and Bob, our geese, and the chickens are up here. Hey, ice cream. I've got a pile of wood that's no good anymore. It's either rotted or this pallet we could salvage. Um, but it's got to be moved later. The chickens are enjoying the sunshine too. Hey, ladies. So last night, I got everything out of here except for some of the wood I'm going to be using. I've got a gate up. This gate was rusted. And I've given it a good coat of flat black spray paint. You can see that it was not in great shape. But... We're gonna use what we have. It's still perfectly usable. And actually the mount, <laughs> the mounting brackets, um, those ends that hold the gate are already there. So that is good to go. And what I'm gonna do is right here, I'm gonna put, <laughs> thank you, rooster. I'm gonna put a cattle panel up and I'm actually gonna cut the cattle panel and mount it to this gate as well so that the goats can't climb through and other stuff can't get through. But I bet y'all go through there anyways, but I'm gonna be on an Easter egg hunt in there. I guess I should stop talking to the chickens and get to work, huh? So kind of unfortunately, one of the first things that I have to do is take something apart that we built last year. Reuse, repurpose, recycle, all that good stuff. I have my wire cutters. And I'm actually gonna be taking apart our gourd tunnel because with the addition of our potage garden, we aren't gonna have this down here anymore. It didn't do great last year. Um, it wasn't irrigated and we're gonna be moving this type of thing into our potage garden. But it's got three cattle panels that I need to use for something else. post too so I'm gonna go get my t-post puller and pull those out I'm really not looking forward to moving the hay it's gonna get interesting I think when we do that our lights are up and I already know that they look great in here at night. They provide just the right amount of light to be able to see everything in there. It is pretty dark towards the back even during the day. Uh, so we may add more lights in the future, but I wanted to mention that these are LED lights. They are plastic bulbs. There's no chance of any glass shattering and these are gonna last us for a very long time. I'm gonna build these platform beds and I'm building them because goats love to be up off the ground. They love to climb and that's just gonna give them something more interesting to do, especially when it's raining. They can play on them. They're gonna have fun. I need them to be safe. They're only gonna be about 14 inches off the ground. They're not going up really high. Um, we've noticed too that the goats really, really like to sleep up off the ground. Uh, we put a pallet with a piece of plywood in their temporary house and they slept on it when it was really cold. And then they love laying in their hay feeder. So we're doing this just for them to have something a little extra too.
beautiful. She's not perfect, but the goats are gonna love it. And I have an idea on how to make it a bit more comfortable. It is starting to look like a barn now, and I'm about to install their auto waterer. Y'all just get ready for it because this is what I'm gonna look like for the rest of the year until January again, <laughs> because it's hot. got the auto water installed we had to use um, a piece of wood under it to level it out and we've made sure we've got it low enough for the younger goats and especially for muffin when she comes to us in a few months but now it's time for the goats main food source to come into this side of the barn the hay <laughs> you can't like see me all <laughs> Oh my Why don't goodness. you just slide down in there and push with your the top part of you? I got this! I'm going to get the eggs too! Not yet. You see those eggs back there? Where are they at? You want me to get them? They're right no, there. they're back there. I can eat them. Putting okay. it up here was pretty hard. I know. <laughs> I don't know how hard it's going to be rolling it out. I'm helping. Push with the top half of you. There you go. I'm falling! Woo! Don't fall off. Uh, there we go. <laughs> okay, we got a little roll over here. Help. If we can move this part. Oh. <laughs> it's an even smaller roll now. about three-fourths of our round bale in here all deconstructed because it came apart. What I'm gonna do to make a hay feeder for our goats so that we're not hauling hay anymore every day, that's what we've been doing. We haul hay to their hay feeder that we built out of a, a water tote. We're gonna have a cattle panel that goes over here from our pallet where we put those T-posts in. And I just put some of the T-posts in this end and we're gonna wrap the cattle panel around here we're going to fill in the, with the rest of our hay bale. That hay, I knew it was going to be hard, but we got it done. Um, and now our goats have constant access to all the hay that they could want to eat. Can y'all believe how much hay 
that is. And it's not even all of it. There's still some in the barn. Just got the T-post in, got this T-post. This T-post was already in, it's a taller one. And I'm about to attach the cattle panel right here. And then I'm gonna cut it off and attach the rest of it to the gate. After I got the cattle panel up over here, Zach and I were standing out here when all of a sudden Rooster the pig came around the barn. The pigs were out. We have been having issues with our pigs and it's because our electric um, wire that goes around the bottom of their pen, it's, it keeps shorting out and it's, it's our problem. It's something that we've got to fix, but right in the middle of this project, we had to get pigs back in their pen. All went okay. We got them back in le in less than 30 minutes, which is a record. The pigs are getting better at knowing they need to go back up. But this stuff doesn't always go perfectly. And I don't want to only show you the perfect parts, but we show you the good stuff to encourage you that you can do the same. We like to spread our goats out to eat because they're always going to fight over food. <laughs> old outdoor cushions that are stained and we don't use them anymore. They have been stored in our shop. I have been known to hang on to things that I think I might have a purpose for later <laughs> and this just happens to be their purpose. One thing that we use really regularly on our farm are fender washers and I'm going to use those to safely secure this to this bed for the goats. And I'm going to make sure my screws are sunk down as far as they can possibly go so that the goats don't step on them and injure their feet. There we are. Nice comfy bed. I think they're going to appreciate that and love it.
don't know what to think. <laughs> so much hay in here. Well, it's got a mouthful. Gravy's looking the place over. What do you think, honey? What do you think? <laughs> They're so happy. I gotta go get their feed barrel and pull it over here. What are y'all doing? Do y'all like it? Do you like it? What do you think? <laughs> Honey! Honey! Oh! Biscuit, are you the first one to try the bed? Honey did like a ninja spin <laughs> off of that, <laughs> Eleanor. See if she'll do it again. You jumping around is getting them excited. <laughs> hey farm friends. Well, it's windy. It has been a few days since we moved the goats into the goat barn. They are all settled and we wanted to give you a tour. Eleanor, have the goats been liking their barn? Yes. What have they liked the most, do you think? Um, I think the- I'm looking at the top of your head. I think the bed. We are at the goat barn. I love saying goat barn, and it's so cute. We did um, keep them locked in for a couple of days before we set up their electro net fencing, which is out here. We have some piles of things that we've got to haul off, but the ground is too wet to get the truck down here. And so with this movable fencing, we are able to go around those piles to keep them safe. But they have access to all of this out here during the day. And they get beautiful morning sun. I always say our animals have the best views. Like the silky coop has a beautiful view. I put this egg collecting bucket here and they think it's the most magical thing. Hey honey, hello gravy. Hey Willow. Hey, Miss Willow. Eleanor's giving them loves. But look at the view that they have. What a gorgeous view. I'm a little jealous, goats. The sun rises just over those trees. And you get to watch it, don't you, Willow? Don't you, Miss Willow? Huh? And you can't bend this fence up. Hey, honey. Hello, honey. <laughs> Eleanor loves their bed. They are really loving their bed. So I guess it's time for the tour. So they have their cattle panel wall up here and then they have a piece of wood that is mounted. And I went ahead and spray painted some of the stuff black. Just so, oh my goodness, biscuit, biscuit. I went ahead and spray painted some of the stuff black um, just to make it blend in a little bit better. I spray painted this two by four and the tie straps and the T posts and their gate. Of course you saw that. And all of this is going really well so far. Um, the piece that I cut off of the cattle panel and mounted on their gate, I twisted this cattle panel. It was very difficult to do, but with a pair of pliers, I twisted some of the pieces around the gate and I left the gate long down here so that hopefully we keep the ducks and chickens from going in there as much. Um, no eggs have been found in here yet, and I haven't noticed any chicken activity in here. Mama, I found an egg in here. You found an egg in here. There's a duck egg. You found a duck egg? Well, I'll eat my words. There's been a duck in here that laid an egg. <laughs> Biscuit, Biscuit's face. You're so funny. So far, this is all working great. And we have not decided what we will do yet when it's time to bring in hay. This is gonna last us quite a while. And it may be that we just haul hay in there by wheelbarrow or by the little lawnmower because it does fit through this gate. Or it may be that we take this cattle panel down 
Um, that's a lot of work, but we may take this cattle panel down and back the truck in there with the round bale and roll it off and put the um, hog panel around it. Or we even discussed potentially making a hay door where that um, plywood is, where we could back the truck in there and roll it off that direction. Um, but who knows? Who knows? We'll get that figured out when the time comes. Let's go in here. They, they have a chain that goes around their gate and locks it. Everybody's going to want to come out the second I come in here. And then to lock it while I'm in here, I just grab it and put it around that cattle panel. It works well. Can you stop eating my clothes, please? They have their feeders right here, and Miss Willow is standing and waiting to be fed, like she always is. <laughs> and their auto water. Mr. Gravy just got him a good sip. Goats don't drink a lot, but with this, they have constant access to fresh and clean and cool water. <laughs> He's gonna nibble your finger. And we uh, put up two tea posts and put the pallet on there to keep anything from rolling and falling that direction because this would just push. Um, and I wedged the cattle panel in there and wired it to the pallet. And then we took it around here. And as they eat this down, we will take this cattle panel and push it in and keep moving that cattle panel further and further that direction, making it smaller and smaller until it's time to refill their hay. Over here, they've got a hay bale to play on and their bed, which they have been using a lot. Got some nice tinkle spots and poop on here that I'll clean off with my rake. <laughs> they have done the same to the chair. We used to have this star up here on the peak of the barn facing the pond, but I couldn't get it back up there. <laughs> and so when I took it down, I saved it to put in here and they've got all of their cafe lights in here that are LEDs. No risk of any broken glass. These are gonna last us for a long time. May end up adding another strand in here later on, especially when the time comes that we have babies. But this is the area where our future um, two stalls will be built. We'll have it sectioned off. They'll come out to about here. Um, they will be about eight by eight, which is a great stall size. And I'm planning to do them with uh, cattle panels and wood slats similar to what we did out here. This barn is about 50 feet long by 20 feet across. So it is a huge space for just our four goats. We hope to add um, at least three more does over the next year. We've got one muffin coming to the farm in about eight or nine weeks. We're gonna let her stay for quite a while with her mama and uh, get her really well socialized up at Judy's Place Needs Farmhouse in Coleman. We are thrilled to finally have the goats in their goat barn, and I can't wait to add more goats. I just love them. They are just wonderful. They have the best personalities. They are so friendly, and I love my boys. Our weathers, biscuit, and gravy, and then we have honey and willow, and soon we'll have muffin. We cannot wait to have her join us here on the farm, and we are hoping and praying for a couple of more girls to be born this spring that we can add to the farm as well. Farm friends, I hope that you enjoyed seeing what happens here on our farm day in and day out. There's always a project, there's always something to work on, and there's always a new idea and inspiration. We hope that you have a blessed week and we'll see you back here soon on the homestead for another video. Y'all have a good one.